Billions of pathogens like bacteria, fungi, viruses, and protists try to invade our body. Our body has an arsenal of weapons and defenses to defeat these invaders. That is the immune system. The body depends on white blood cells, also known as leukocytes, for defense against germs. In every microliter of blood, there are approximately 4,500 to 11,000 white blood cells. White blood cells are divided into two groups, phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes are divided into granulocytes, macrophages and monocytes, and dendritic cells. There are four main types of granulocytes, eosinophils, neutrophils, basophils, and mast cells. Lymphocytes are classified into two groups, B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Phagocytes act like a border security force wiping out most pathogens that try to invade the body. They trap the pathogens and use enzymes to break them down into pieces. Then, they will be able to understand the antigen present in the pathogen, identifying the kind of pathogen that invaded the body. An antigen is an identifying mark. But, if the pathogen overpowers the phagocytes, they transfer the antigen sample to lymphocytes through dendritic cells. Dendritic cells help transfer information between phagocytes and lymphocytes. Dendritic cells then transfer the antigen to T lymphocytes, which multiply thousands of times. Some T cells become memory T cells and stain the lymph nodes. If the same pathogen attacks again, the body will be able to defeat it easily. Some of the T cells go to the battlefield to help the phagocytes. Meanwhile, the other T cells activate the B lymphocytes. The B lymphocytes produce millions of proteins called antibodies that attach themselves to the surface of the pathogens. They enter the battlefield and attach themselves to the pathogens, deactivating them. The other group of T cells called cytotoxic T cells or killer T cells kill the infected body cells. After the battle is over, most of the immune cells will self-destruct to prevent further damage to the body. Some immune cells remain as memory cells. They remember how to fight the pathogen if it invades again. That's how we develop immunity against diseases like chickenpox. Today, we are facing a terrible pandemic. Most people's immune system can overcome this disease, but some succumb to it. When this virus enters the lungs, macrophages produce proteins that are called cytokines attract other immune cells to the site of infection. Sometimes, the body pr produces an overload of cytokines, called a cytokine storm. This causes even more immune cells to enter the lungs. The cytokines also cause fluids to leak into the lungs from the blood vessels. This can cause suffocation. The increase in immune cells in the lungs can also cause them to accidentally damage tissues in the lungs. The entire world is focused on finding a cure or vaccine for this disease. Healthy habits have become part of our life. Social distance yourself from others and don't be one of the people who think this disease is a hoax. Stay safe. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive updates every week. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share.